Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 32 match between Sergal and Kfog. And I can't believe this, it's sweltering heat and Sergal has chosen a kick. This is absolutely not what I would have done at all. I would have 100% receive 11 versus 11, get my touchdown done. And then, you know, if the second half is 7 versus 7, so be it, right? I think this is a wild decision by Sergal to kick. But he's won the toss and he's chosen to kick. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, very interesting. Sergal did win the first group. The first group, the first game. He did not win his group. Kfog won his group, so Kfog is like essentially the seeded player here, if you like. And uh, they both qualified through the uh, official ladder uh, slash playoffs. Core is Danish, Sergal is Spanish, and uh, maybe he is hoping to play offense against no war dancers. Yes, but it's really weird, isn't it? It's really weird. Like I would definitely a million percent receive score draw like he only has to draw right like that's the that's the thing for him he, he it's careful that has to go for the win and uh big kev is danish yeah or uh or or english you know he's got dual nationality now um he does live in england um moved here to play more blood ball <laughs> there you go <laughs> I don't know if that's the only reason, but uh, it might have been. <laughs> He's setting up his players. No players in the end zone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I'm. I'm shocked. A shocking decision from Circle here. Again, I could understand if he was going for the win, you know. But but yeah, I think I think just trying the draw. Very strange. And he's got a bribe as well here. Hello, Big Chichi, just in time. <laughs> yeah, and, and now the bribe means that, you know, K-Fog isn't really going to get the foul. Like, he might get the foul, but very unlikely to get the foul. Whereas Circle will be able to do some fouls, probably. We're surely going to see a Daka now, given this setup, because there were the three strength three players in the line, so very easily knock over a bull if you want to fight them so the fact that he hasn't set up to knock them over means surely this is a daka from kfog has kfog ever to captain team Dem i don't know tree i don't i'll be honest with you i'm completely ignorant on on that score um surely he should have done <laughs> at some point but there you go um yeah, he has been captain of England in tabletop. Tabletop with the very loose rules of if you want to play for somebody, you can. <laughs> As we can see from the very Welsh Andy Davil <laughs> and the incredibly Welsh Rick Reckless. <laughs> Maybe it is mind games, yeah. This is like a half dacker, isn't it? Interesting. I don't hate this. Completely covers the pickup, right? It's totally fine. It, it doesn't have to be an instant full runaway as far as you can dacker. It can just be this kind of thing. This is. I might do something like this with my uh, dark elves. I did actually do something like this with my dark elves um, versus Tumish. There you go. <laughs> Maybe, Dimmy, maybe. Oh, yeah, Team Andorra, which is mostly Germans, yeah. Germans and Aussies and <laughs> all sorts on Team Andorra. Though they were changed to Ladonia, weren't they? Well, they weren't. I mean, uh, Falk went to Team Ladonia. Not a fan of uh, national teams in Blood Bowl. Yep. Which is fair enough. Mm. 
Yeah, I like that. I like basing the uh, wrestler. The problem is he might leave a gap might me this turn. We'll see. Sergal did in fact win game one. Yes, Big Chi Chi. Um, no way to avoid spoilers on that score with this being game two. Um, K Fog made a mass. Well, first of all, first half he rolled a bunch of dub skulls, which left him with only one reroll on turn seven, so he didn't try to uh, sack the ball on turn seven, which led to quite an easy score for Sergal on Sergal's drive. And then K Fog's drive, um, he rolled more skulls and uh, then eventually a snake and. That was all she wrote, and this looks like Kfog might be going through. I mean, there is a gaping hole here. He's, I mean, he's at least going through with some players, right? He has to at least go through with some players. There's a wrestler, and there's a massive hole. So, if only all offences were this easy as, as elves. Yeah, yeah, at least you could tell, at least you could tell. 1-0, it's quite simple. So yeah, Sergal only needs a draw from this match. Um, which is easier said than done, versus Big Kev and Wood Elves. But it's possible. I might just push him back and not break through. Because it's a bit rubbish, isn't it, giving away the hit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I mean, I don't like rolling that, <laughs> obviously. But once you've rolled that, I think it's probably right to then just think, oh, well, we've got plenty of time. But I mean, we would love to have got, like, three players through, right? We'd love that. Hello, Quincy. I just realized I can move this down a bit. That's much better, isn't it? So it's disappointing though, because it was a golden opportunity to get a bunch of players through. Would have almost assured the score. So, pretty disappointing. Hello, Spartacus. See, 3D. I hate the 3D there. I actually hate it, right? Because. Like, three dicing is good with Mighty Blow, but, like, these two guys aren't really needed over here. I mean, maybe he's going to strengthen all of this, so it's, maybe it's fine. I'd like to blitz this guy. And you can blitz him into an extra hit. And then you've got, like, players a bit more. You know, like, here is the hinge kind of thing. Or this is beyond it. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter at all. <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. I think none of it's obviously wrong, is it? Yeah, like this big one could have been could have been stood here. It doesn't need to be out there. But you know, maybe it's maybe it's better that it's still out there. Who can tell? We don't have a blood bowl stockfish. <laughs> He's got a foul, he definitely should have been one higher, right? Gets the removal, this bribe leading to a removal. And now there's no breakthrough on for Big Kev. why it was pretty tempting last turn to go for it. 
you couldn't re-roll, like you couldn't re-roll, but you could have gone through and given away a hit. You can try 3-3-2, but 3-3-2 is a bit rubbish, but uh, I do always see people do it. I, of course, have never succeeded with 3-3-2 in my life, but I do see other people do it, so apparently it's possible. And also, like, 3-3-2 is hard to get one person through with a 3-3-2, right? Last turn, you could have just got, like, three players through without dice rolls. Maybe even four. I mean, at least this is like a very strong formation for Kfog, right? Like the two lines. Oh, he went for the 4 2 through. Okay. The problem is, now this guy can get fouled. And Sergal can tighten the screw. Hello, Krufgar. So, um. I can't show you anymore because now it's gone. Now it's gone through. Basically, if you're an elf down a sideline, you can three plus to there, three plus to there, and then two plus to there. But it was it was up here, but now it's gone. Now Circle's going to do his best to not even allow that. Yep, absolutely, Lepeg. Yep, losing game one is is horrendous. You know, but not as horrendous as if it isn't a best of three, right? So, <laughs> or best of two and a half. So the fact that it, it is a best of two and a half, at least it's not over if you lose the first one, right? Like, it, it is really bad if you lose the first one, but at least it's not over. Mm, so losing a bit of position to make this foul. Quite a lot of position to make this foul. This is like a lot worse than if you had two players here and here, or here and here. Like these two players could be, you could have a big one here, and a blitzer there or something, right? So it's, and then the blitzer would get one date. So yeah, here and here. Probably should have had kept players here and here, honestly. I love the best of two and a half BP nut, yeah. The, the, so the, the only problems of it are the scheduling three games in a week with the person, right, is obviously a bit tricky and stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it does suck if you lose the first game. But, you know, if it was a best of three, it would suck losing the first game as well, right? So, like, uh, I guess if it's a best of three with overtime... <laughs> you'd have more chance probably of winning, right? Because the draws would give you some win chances instead of the draws taking away your win chances. So it does feel worse to lose the first game in this format. But at least you've got a chance, you know. It's better than being out, isn't it? It's probably, I mean, well, it is worse than just losing in, in double elimination because you're getting eliminated on a draw. Getting eliminated on a draw is, is obviously terrible. So, yeah, it, it does suck if you if you lose the first game. This was a bit sloppy by K Fog. I mean, more than a bit sloppy. <laughs> it's abjectly terrible right now. There we go. He got there in the end. That was close, wasn't it? And that guy should have moved before the blitz, right? In case it was double or quad skulls. That was nearly an absolute disaster from Kfog. See, I do like I do like the best of two and I've like, and I like that it. Like I'm, not, I'm not, I like it from a spectating point of view and stuff, um, because obviously having to schedule three overtime games versus somebody would be a lot harder as well and it'd be a bit much and it might be annoying to watch so many overtime games I think it's kind of better because you can you know you can just like lose randomly overtime as well I think I think it being two normal times two normal games is better than one overtime game yeah 
At first I thought it was great. When I heard about it the first time, I thought it was incredible. When I've been watching the games, I think it's great. If I lose my first game, <laughs> I'm going to be like, I wish this was best of three with overtime. <laughs> you know? Like right now, k would probably wish this was best of three with overtime. But then, you know, it isn't. So... That's just purely from a selfish point of view. Like, it is going to suck losing the first game. Tough for the Orcs, isn't it? They're faster than they used to be with the movement five big guns, but they're still slower than Wood Elves. Wood Elves are very fast. He has to keep fouling. Hate going the extra square. Should have fouled from here, right? Uses his bribe. He could have argued the call there, right? Because it was last action. Because it was last action, and he's got a reserve, he could have argued the call. So it, it was like, arguing the call is the greedy thing. Using the bribe instantly is your best odds of keeping your player on the pitch. But um, arguing is the greedier way of doing it with a higher payoff. So I wouldn't have hated arguing. Oh my god. k -Fog keeps his terrible dice. Rolls a dub skull in his fifth block of the game. And he does power the blitzer and there is a hole. And he is going to 2 plus the whole team through probably. On turn 5 this is pretty good. Just quietly, this guy who fouled should have been here, and that would have made that a little bit worse. I mean, he has, he's has he got 12 players, right? He's got 12 players. Um, Sergal, so... He could have argued the call. With it being last, right? If he argued the call, it's still the turnover. So, also, he could have accepted a turnover um, if he'd argued the call successfully. So... There was actually reasons to argue the call there, whereas mostly just using the bribe is correct. It might not have necessarily been correct that time. The problem is it constricts you, right? It constricts you. Did he have a player there already? Yeah, yeah, he probably should have 2 d yeah. But, like, he gets another player through, doesn't he? But it's a double twos. He gets more through this way, doesn't he? Like, ultimately. Like, he just gets more through. He doesn't have a player stood waiting here, does he? So he's got two extra players. Now, the extra players are here and here, so they're not amazing. But then this was a dodge at the end, so it would be these two players would be here and here, but then he wouldn't have had to make any dodges. But they're one in 36s. No, it's not no reason that he gets he gets better positional out of it, doesn't he? Beacon four two two. I don't know. What, on what planet you're on, Christopher B. <laughs> ah, yeah, before that, yeah. One, two, three, four. 
Five, rush, rush to base. Or double four. So it's so your four two two is actually a five four four two two, um, which isn't great. But yeah, it, it would have been a double four. It would have been a four four two two, which isn't worth it, right? He just sidesteps even even if you pay him, he just sidesteps and he's got elves, so he just picks it up again. Yeah, two KOs, catches. Needs to support this guy. Yep, rush. Had to do that rush. Yeah, like there's just literally no point sacking them if you're not going to at least like swarm the ball afterwards, right? Either pick up the ball afterwards or swarm the ball afterwards. If you're just knocking them over, nothing, nothing. You know, you might as well just not bother. No good is going to come from that. <laughs> it would make great TV, yes, Chrissy B, yep. There's a way through here, like blocking him and blocking him, or but the problem of blocking him. But the problem is, how good is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not very, is it? So I don't actually like this coming back at all. In fact, I probably hate that because you've got two people here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and coming all the way to there. This doesn't look great, does it? Going backwards on turn six. Rushing to hit. Nice stun. That gives him the 2 plus to get this guy up. Also leaves the 4 plus. <laughs> 4 plus to hit the ball. Which he might do. No, so he stopped that. I would actually wouldn't have hated that, right? Just like screen everything else, and then but they they have fully screen here. It's hard for them to fully screen the other side. So it is it is a good side switch. To be fair, it sucks going back, but it's very over the side, isn't it? So this might have been a good move. They're so fast, the Woodies. Couldn't do this with Dark Elves. It's just hard to reach there for the screen, isn't it? This isn't a blitz. Yeah, that had to be a blitz, right? Had to be a blitz. And then one, two, three, four, five, rush. And then get this back. That had to be a blitz. And now, Sergal is in a bit of a pickle.
as he's probably just realizing <laughs> he's probably just realizing how much of a pickle he's in and what a mistake he's made now he's probably got to blitz this dodger right and and get in Yeah, I mean, he probably had to do it. Like, it just doesn't look that good, does it? There wasn't really anything else he could have done. So it's a double rush or it's a foul. And you can blitz through this guy, you can blitz through this guy, you can blitz through that guy. <laughs> Just do the rushes. I think he had to. But you know, there's still just an easy blitz through this guy back the other way again. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say he's getting diced. Certainly not yet. Not yet. This looks actually pretty good, the reverse, right? Now, you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get all the way to there with a the ball. And that guy ahead. Don't really want to face the mighty blow. Yeah, you've got to dodge him first so that you can push the blitz over there. And yeah, dodge with this catcher as well. Yeah. Exactly what I would have done. Well done, Carl. <laughs> if it's what I would have done, it must be the best play. <laughs> Having two players behind your like ball isn't great, right? Because it does mean you do have to worry about protecting in front, behind, and to the side. <laughs> ah, it's, that was just a joke, isn't it? I mean, th this is the thing, right? Like, this is when people say, like, because we, all you've got is your opinions, people can only say, oh, that's a good play if, like, they think it was good, right? So, <laughs> it just is what it is, isn't it? So maybe this guy can go on like to here, right? Oh no, he's got that. Yeah, yeah, that does the job. That does the job. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I mean, maybe overall, right? Maybe overall, yes. I think that's how um a lot of people think i like to think i'm better than that cosme goal but yes um there is a lot of that for sure with like uh
yeah, yeah, in general, yeah, yeah. Smashing the stripper does seem a good idea to me, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Cosmigo. Yeah, but it, it definitely is. It definitely is something that happens. Yeah, and like you know, there's all the all the biases, isn't there? Like all the cognitive biases are at play, which makes things harder. But you've got to do your best to be objective. And but at the end of the day, none of us can like just definitively say, unless it's like you know, scoring a one turn right and trying to score on turn sixteen. Turn 16, it's absolutely, there's definitive things that are correct or not, because you're just maximising your chance of a touchdown. Whereas, even on turn 8, there's the chance of your players dying, or the chance of you killing an opponent player. So even that's just hard to say something's completely incorrect. But generally, it's only like turn 7, turn 8, where you, of a drive where you can really be, well, you know, like... <laughs> like a, a three two is better than a three two two, right? Things like that you can just definitely say are better. But not a lot. Sergal won the first game, Max. Um that's why there's a big one zero <laughs> at, the, at the bottom of the screen there. Um He didn't he didn't he didn't smash the uh stripper, but he's based the ball. Basing the ball I think is fine. What I really like is this blitzer dodging double rushing to here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's also difficult if you, you, you don't know what they're thinking of. Like, this is what I mean. This is why you can, like, genuinely only say it's not what I would have done a lot of the time because you just don't know what they're thinking, you know? Like, people can do moves that look a bit mad because you just don't know what their their thought process is, but then turns out if you did know, you'd be like, all right, it's so that he can do this later. Okay, so he just left this guy. I don't know if he didn't see him or what, because he didn't move him at all. I really like moving him there. That seems hard to deal with, right? That seems really good, moving him to there. That's really weird. Oh my God, more dub skulls. Like, look how easy this is for K-Fog. Like it's way too easy. This was the player, this guy going to there, I'm pretty sure. But again, can't definitively say it was incorrect by Circle, but sure looks like it was incorrect. Because that would have been real good to get in there. At least do something with him, anything with him. Anything would have been better than nothing. Ooh. Now I don't understand this move. You could have just put in there and blocked, right? Not a scoring threat. Oh, it's to counter this so he can blitz. He's going to dodge blitz. Hmm. I feel like it's better to put the assist in and block. Right? I think it's better to, to put the assist in and block. Because it saves you a 1 in 30. It's a 1 in 81 then using a reroll rather than a 1 in 36. So I feel like that was wrong from KFOG. <laughs> After saying it's hard to say things are absolutely wrong, but that does seem like it was wrong. Yeah, it gives a chance to kill an orc, yeah. Less chance to kill your dancer. But, there you go, it worked, and he scored. Yeah, exactly, if it was a board down. He could have followed, right? He could have done the two dice block, and he would have at least followed, right? 80 times out of 81, he follows, and he's cancelling the assist. So he was always going to blitz with that. So yeah, I think that was just incorrect. <laughs> Hello, Sol. 
Sergal. Sergal won the first game. And uh, he's a good player. Also, it was a mistake by uh, Sergal, a very subtle mistake. He chose to kick and didn't field his thrower. And what that means is he was always going to have to field his thrower on this, which means he's higher odds of losing his thrower for his offensive drive. So that was a very big mistake from Sergal when he chose to kick. And now, high odds of losing his thrower. There is also high odds of Cole losing a dancer, but that's just bad luck, right? This was, there was play involved in not fielding the thrower. Yeah, maybe he just didn't realise it was heat when he chose to kick, yeah. However, I'd have still chosen to receive, so I still don't understand. Oh, officious ref, stunned. Only stunned. Sad. Yep, the Orcs did play well. It wasn't... I did think he needed that last... I, need, I think he needed the last dodge double rush. And uh, apart from that, I thought he did very well. But, you know, K-Fog is, is very, very good. And uh, got the job done. Where hey, Timmy. I think... Unless you're in the top 1% of Blood Bowl players, you should always receive. If you're not in the top 1% of Blood Bowl players, you should always receive. And then if you are in the top 1% of Blood Bowl players, or think you're in the top 1% of Blood Bowl players, then uh, you might still be wrong when you, when you choose to kick. <laughs> Makes the foul. Risky, because there's no more bribe, but he gets a KO. This does increase the odds of a dancer missing to heat. But of course, if he'd been sent off, it would have increased the chance of losing his thrower. And what happens? He keeps the thrower. And it is another three. Is it always three? Or is it D3? I don't know the rules. Somehow, k keeps all of his dancers. Well, both. <laughs> but, he failed both KOs. So he has six players. He has six players. And Sergal has nine. And he's got block and sure hands. And all he has to do is get down and score versus six players. And now the kicking looks a brilliant idea because 11 versus 11... You know, maybe he doesn't score. Now 9 versus 6. He's obviously massively favoured to get the job done. D3. Right, tanks. Yeah, I knew it was always equal. I always knew it was equal, but... I've just seen it three in a row. I've seen the last two games that I've seen Heat, it's been 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. So, um... <laughs> just dice, isn't it? This looks very droish, yeah. This looks really, 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 really bad for K-Fog. Yep. Yep, this is... This is... Horrible. The Mighty Blow's out, though. So... That's something. Yep, Kruthgar, I know people like to do that, but as I say, I think unless they're in the top 1%, they're more likely to be wrong than right when they kick. So I think it's best not to. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, they do need to get the ball. They've got a solid defence, but there's only three people. Not point one, just just top one. I mean, look, I could be wrong. It could be top ten percent or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But because at the end of the day, if 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 you should have kicked and you chose to receive, 
you still get to punch everybody first. But like, it's it's still a better way to be wrong, right? That's the thing. It's still a better way to be wrong. If you are wrong, you're losing less percent. Getting it wrong that way. If you see what I mean. This is a this is a scary kick. He probably just brings everything back here. You can even blitz back. <laughs> there you go, so. But you know what I mean? Like, like, let's say, let's say, you know, receiving gives you a a 51% overall chance to win and kicking gives you a... No, sorry. Receiving gives you a 49% chance and kicking gives you a 51%, right? So receiving is... Sorry, receiving gives you a 49 and kicking gives you a 51, right? Kicking is technically correct in that scenario. But if you make the wrong call and receive, you still get to punch things first. Which is okay, right? You've got to be aggressive if you K-Fog. Uh, well, no, you don't. No, you have to, yeah, because you have to win. And I don't think you can win six versus... Like, I don't think you can stop him scoring six versus nine, right? I don't think you can stop him scoring... What I, what I think you can do is jump in, knock the ball out, and score, go 2-0 up, and then win 2-1. I think it's harder to win 1-0 than it is to win 2-0 or 2-1 right now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but what Sol said, yes, he's not gonna, he, he's not gonna stop the score. Well, I rather, I would say the top. Uh, <laughs> I would say you shouldn't play vamps because they're a disgusting team. <laughs> disgusting cheating team. Uh, you should have some self-respect. Never play Skaven or Vamps. There you go. Oh, both down now. <laughs> now half his team is based. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Sol. There you go. I'm just joking, of course. <laughs> Just joke. I'm still allowed to joke, aren't I? I know I've got to be. Uh, I know I've got to be. Uh, you know, he's just going to go and fight. He's just going to pile. Honestly, like f piling in and fighting is still fine, right? Because you know, fighting things is good. No joking allowed. I do apologize. Sorry. That was always allowed. <laughs> Look at this safe moves first. This is probably K Fog's best chance. Honestly, like, you know, I think Diomed, funnily enough here, would have had an extra player there, these two one back, and this player in there, right, and wouldn't have blitzed. If you remember his game versus Nabolo, he just regularly wasn't blitzing to completely protect the ball. And here, Sergal's going for this extra hit, and now, k is going to have a one dice on the ball. Right? One dice on the ball now for Keyfog. This is as good as it gets. He's got five players. Everyone's able to react if this works. He could even go for the wrestle hit, right? Because he's got three rerolls to put into this. He's definitely going to get the ball now, I, th I would say. Yeah, that's what I said, the forward square. Yeah, that's what I said. But you put somebody in there, and then you extend these back and put somebody in there, yeah. 
But he doesn't. He, he didn't go for it. I thought Kefo would have gone for that for sure. For sure. It still has three re-rolls. Had people at the back of the cage. I am shocked. I am shocked at Kefo. He surely won't get as good a chance as that again. Surely won't. I mean, it is too early. It is too early, but you surely won't get as good a chance, right? Better to go 2-0 up than lose. So, I'm sure he won't get a better... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he won't get a better chance than that. But, yes, it is, it is more devastating later. It is more devastating later. That is true. It's better later, but I, yeah, I wouldn't say this is too early. Barely an inconvenience. Of course, maybe maybe he will get an exactly the same chance next turn. In fact, better because there's a catcher to stand up. Errata, errata, <laughs> disregard. <laughs> you will get a better chance the very next turn. <laughs> there we go. Literally the next turn, here's a better chance. Oh no, okay, so the, the dancer's sandwiched a little bit. I mean, it's not that hard, but I would have thought Sergo would have, like, you know, got the ball in a Venga bus and stuff and, and made it harder than a 4+. plus. I did think he would have done. And yeah, I know he's only got 9. I know he's only got 9. But, like, he could have done it last turn and just didn't, right? Like, the previous turn he just could have done and didn't. And he has had 4+. plus. Five plus every turn of the half. He has. He has. Yeah. True. True. Yes, because he's had it. It's not reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe K Fog is just going to wait and wait and then go for it later. It's also not unreasonable that he could have just had a few players removed. Right. He could have been down to four. Like he's got six players still. He could have been down to four players already, couldn't he? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, he's got three re-rolls. Well, had three re-rolls, now he's got two, and he hasn't used them on the ball sack, has he? He's used a re-roll on not going for the ball this half, which seems not good. Hello, Olivier Delac. And now he's lost a player, right? Now he is in a worse position, he's only got five players. So, it's interesting, it's interesting, I mean, it's it's not cut and dried. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> yes, winning game one, it really is key, yep. No, it's not cut and dry. I mean, I'm not saying it's cut and dry. I'm sorry if I gave the impression it was cut and dry, but my mentality would be, it's not getting better than this. I have to strike first, strike hard, no mercy. But, um, at the end of the day, he hasn't made the same assessment, has he? So, you know. I'm, I, all I can say is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> 
All I can say is what I think, Torquemada. Yes, I could be wrong. P K Fog could also be wrong. PC could be wrong. Olivier could be wrong. You know. Who knows? Soul can't be wrong. <laughs> Soul's the only one that can't be wrong. He's absolutely unfappable. And he's now quite disconnected, isn't he, uh, Sergal? Two over here, two over here, five in the middle, and he does have to score. Like he can't just he can't just keep punching things and hope for the best. He does actually have to get his team together and get down the pitch. <laughs> so I keep forgetting his team's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is that his last square or no he's got he's got quite a lot more movement oh and he can go through the middle but man like may, maybe maybe circle will will leave something better on is this a rush this is a rush isn't it I guess you can just go there and not rush, but then maybe you can get one day on the ball. Hello PC, by the way. Um, yeah, so while I don't particularly agree with how K-Fog's approached this, I also don't really agree with how <laughs> Circle's approached it either. Um, but, you know, who can say they could both be right and I could be both be wrong right at the end of the day. And uh, all you can do is play your game and hope for the best. <laughs> well, he hasn't cancelled these two. He would have gone and cancelled this, wouldn't he? And then he could have gone in, and then, yeah, these two have just got two plus outs. He would have had a two plus out. He could have had the ball out and screened. Doesn't look like he's going for it again, though. Oh, that was very lazy. Very lazy from Cole. Did not plot out the uh, blitz direction properly. Made himself do a 4 plus blitz, but uh, 4 plus dodge, but gets away with it. That was categorically, see, this is one of the things that you can say that was incorrect. 100% incorrect. 100%. That was wrong. Oh, not the not going in, talk about it, the 4 plus dodge. The 4 plus dodge is just absolutely incorrect, right? Whether you think he should have gone in or not is, is immaterial. It, it, that was definitely wrong to just make a 4 plus dodge instead of a 2 plus. Oh, yeah, ODL check. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're okay. He did it, by the way, Olivier, you'll be pleased to know. Um, KFOG did the same thing as you. He left, a, he left a catcher in the end zone. So now we've got the two highest ranked players on tabletop. Probably. Is, is K-Fog second? I think K-Fog was second because Devo was third, wasn't he? So um, we've probably had the two highest ranked tabletop players both leave a player in the end zone. <laughs> Pretty funny. I mean, they're very good players, Elf. They're very, very good players. <laughs> It's not a slight on them. It's just it's just funny that they both didn't happen. Well, you say that, Dimmy, but it would happen on tabletop because we've had people not bring out their figures before, haven't we? So 
<laughs> yeah, on tabletop they'd have 12. <laughs> oh, he gets the pow. But look how good K-Fog is because it looks like this turn he's going to have a better chance if he hadn't been powered than last turn. <laughs> On tabletop they'd have an extra 10 TV. Way! <laughs> Full power. I mean, okay, so Kefog got really unlucky here that this, this was a full power and that was a full power. Otherwise, he would have had a really good chance this turn. But now with this guy being knocked over, it's nowhere near as good, is it? But, and you know, it's it's turn 14 and Sergal is still in his own half with a ball carrier. So, you know, we all said Kefog couldn't defend with six players. And he has. He has actually defended with, so far, with five or six players an entire half. Pretty incredible. Now, to be fair, Sergal had nine. So you wouldn't think it was quite as incredible if K Fog was doing this with eight players, would you? So, um, you know, but still. Yeah, he needs rushes a handoff and he's on he's got three rerolls, so he he has got a he has got a reroll for every rush he would need to make to get into scoring range. Mr. Throw is so bad. Yeah, true. I mean, I, I agree. I I think this is more circle um, not playing well than K-Fog playing well. But... Yeah, I mean, this he can solve pretty much everything with this turn, so... We'll see. We'll see if he does. All that to all that ju I just told Sergal that he had to blitz him though. <laughs> like <laughs> the prob the problem with re-rolling that it gave the game away that Sergal that was now had to blitz him. <laughs> well, if K Fog thinks he has to power, that means I have to knock him down. <laughs> Yeah, he's got he's got to at least single rush. Has to. Doesn't. Wow. That's outrageous. That's outrageous. I I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and say this was wrong to not rush to there. At the moment Circle has one scoring threat. Well, okay, he doesn't. He's got four. Wait, no, he's not in score. Wait. He had a double rush. He's got two. He's got two scoring threats. Okay, three now. He's got three scoring threats. So he can chain one away. He can chain the big one back and then base him, can't he? Oh! Now he's got a fourth. Oh, that's great. That screens. Okay. That's actually massive. But yes, now we've got the cage dive. Now we've got the three plus leap in. Or maybe a four plus dodge in. Because the fact he's only got the one D on him.
stacked it. That was incorrect from KFOG. That was incorrect, right? Stacking it. He should have made this dodge, and if he pops dodge, he goes for the leap. So that was an incorrect move there from the best player in my mind. And now he's got a... Uh, he's just got all these through to get the ball. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All the dice. <laughs> and he's away. And that is a very likely victory for Big Kev. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> I mean, it was a great thing, and there you go, you know, we, we said, <laughs> we said, uh, he can't just play a patty kick with uh, six L's for a whole half, well, guess what, he can, and he got the uh, four plus dodge in, and that was that, wowie, unbelievable, but yes, I do agree, I do agree with Sol's assessment, yeah. Big Kev. Big Kev gets it done. You know, maybe it was a great read by him and he thought it was going to work and it did. But, wow. There's still a chance here for Circle, right? Um, Biggin, Blitz, Lineman, picks it up, lobs it to this guy, scores. So it's not over. He's not out of the woods yet. He has not won. He has not won this game. At all. At all. Can go there, push him back in. Gets the pow. Three rerolls for this as well. He's almost got a thrower. One, two, three, four, five. Ru one rush? It might one, two, three, four, five. He doesn't need a rush. So five plus pass. Three plus pick up, five plus pass. Does he not have animosity either because he's a lineman? No, he doesn't got animosity, so it's a straight five. He's made it, and he's made the catch. And now he's got a re-roll. Unbelievable. Un. Believable. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, it wasn't over. It wasn't over. It really wasn't over. Unbelievable. Errata, errata. And that is... Kfog now has to try and score a one turn with five players and no rerolls. And even for Kfog, this is asking a lot. <laughs> Should have made the punt. Yeah, that's that's maybe true, Zirkles. The problem is, of course, is like wildly inaccurate from the punt, isn't it? Is a big problem. How on earth did they all score? They just blitzed, uh, blitzed with the Black Orc and uh, sorry, Biggin. Blitzed with a Biggin and then Lyman pass. The Lyman pat. The Lyman is like nearly as good at passing as the uh, as the thrower, by the way, because he hasn't got he hasn't got uh, <laughs> he hasn't got animosity. Yeah, three plus. I I did it. I did think when he, uh, you know, it was a move when he just did it and thought, oh, he's not punting it. But the wildly inaccurate is bad. Maybe he would have done it if he had the reroll, right? Maybe he was going to rush. I bet if he hadn't done it, so he couldn't do it. Yeah, he couldn't do it. But maybe his plan was to double rush if he could, and then punt if he could. But yeah, he hadn't. He hadn't declared the pass. He should have declared the pass just to keep his options open. And then he could have, you know, if I use the reroll in the first rush, I don't make the second. If I haven't used the reroll after two rushes, then I can punt. 
So, you know, that's what he probably should have done, right? Is this possible? No, uh, timeout, right? Timeout is his only chance. He can't one turn, but he can get a timeout. He does not get a timeout. Uh, and that's it. Wow. Wow. That is unbelievable. Um, what can you say? Just absolutely unbelievable. Um, looked like K Fog had waited till the perfect moment to sack the ball in defense. And then, you know, he rolled all of the dice in his turn. And then Sergo um, rolled all of the dice in Sergo's turn as well. And it, you know, it wasn't that crazy. It actually wasn't that crazy, the dice rolls that he needed. It really wasn't, because he had three re-rolls. So it was essentially just a two dice blitz to, to knock down a dodger with block. And then it was a three plus dodger, five plus pass, and a three plus catch. Really wasn't crazy dice at all from Sergo in the end. And uh, yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, a valiant effort by KFOG, but... Um, couldn't get the job done. And there we go. Sergal goes through and will play the winner of Niagara versus Ivan Cole in maybe, well, in certainly my pre tournament favourite. Well, I don't know, I've been saying Diamed a lot as well. One of my pre tournament favourites, K Fog. I regretted not going with the build that he took. I, I really loved his build. I think he's a lovely person and a great Blood Bowl player. And I think it's. Uh, the tournament's worse without him in it, but there you go. He does go out in the first in the first round of the final phase. So commiserations to KFOG. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.